Hello, good afternoon everyone. I hope you had a really lovely morning doing your Express Yourself form time and also your yoga session with Mrs Lucas. Now we're into the afternoon and what an exciting afternoon we've got. It's our creative afternoon. It's another opportunity for you to find a way to express yourself. Now, I sent a letter home last Friday and it gave loads of different options. What I'm going to do quickly is really whiz through some of the things you can do and talk to you about how I came up with my own uh, portrait expressing myself. Now, you could do a musical way of expressing yourself. If you're a talented and expert musician, grab your instrument, compose a fantastic piece of music, film it and share it. Or you can use something like Garage Band, Garage Band to uh, express yourself, which is another way. We can also do some cooking. Now it's important we don't just pick cooking because it's good fun. We have to link the cooking element to how we express ourselves as a person. So what are you gonna make that shows you off? You could be a great uh, author, you like reading books, so your baking could be in the form of a book. You have to get creative, but it will be quite tricky. Next, you could do some photography. Get out, go for a walk, go into your garden, go and take photographs of things you enjoy doing. Create a presentation or a collage, annotate it, get really creative with how you can send it over. We also have a movement option. Now, this is one for some people that like to get active and like to get moving. If one of your passions is a sporting passion or riding or getting outside, it could be that you film yourself doing something and you make it into an iMovie. Now, that's just not one clip of you doing some keepy uppies in football. It has to be a montage. Make it a really special piece of work. We also have a writing option. You could write us a story, either about your life or something you're interested in. You could be the main character. You can get into all these exciting, wonderful things. That would be a fantastic way of expressing yourself because you can really get your personality across. We also have a language option. Now with the languages, again, you can Make a piece of writing in a different language. So I know you've been learning French. I know some of the year groups have learned Japanese. Really, really exciting. But also, if English isn't your foreign language, your first language, and we have a few of those in school, do a presentation for us about yourself in your first language, whether it's Chinese, Vietnamese, we have some Russian children at school, that would be amazing. And then you can also translate it for us as well, so all your friends know what you're talking about. And lastly, we have an art option, which is what I have done. Now with that, you can do a drawing of yourself, you can do a collage of all different things you like, you can use different materials, different colours and go in real deep about all the things that you enjoy and that show you off as a person. Now I'm going to talk you through the process quickly of what I did to make my portrait and this is what I want you to consider for any of these options because it needs a little bit of planning. I will add some photos in but I'll also show you as well. The first thing I did is I wrote a little plan. Okay now I titled it what makes me okay express myself and I wrote down the really important things that are in my life. The things that I think make me the type of person that I am. I wrote about family. I wrote about my cat, Troy. Um, I wrote down the things I enjoy doing, like rugby and lots of different sport. I wrote that one of the things that um, makes me me is the fact that I'm a teacher. And also that I really like exercising as well. Then I went on to the extra things. The things that were like my favourite. So I talked about my favourite clothes, 
what would I be wearing in my picture? The weather that I'd like my picture to be set in. My favourite place, where do I want to be with that picture? Um, I wrote down my favourite food and also the best season, autumn, winter, summer or spring. Because I thought all those things make me the type of person that I am. So try to have a plan before you go into it. Make a list. What do you think is important to you? And then maybe some lists of your favourite things, especially if you're doing a drawing. But you can even have that for your writing. You could do that for a photography project and your language project as well. Next, I sort of gently did a pencil drawing about how I was going to set everything up. All right, that looks like this. Please don't laugh. It was my best, best attempt. And then after that, I coloured it in, um, in some of my favourite colours, um, but also just to show it off and bring it to light. That looks like this. Now, I'll talk you through it here, just so you know my sort of thinking. Um, you got me in the middle with my rather large head. Um, in the middle here, all this writing, these are all the initials of my family members, because um, I think they're so important. I've got my mum, dad and my sisters at the bottom, my grandma. I've got my niece, my nephew, sorry, here, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, um, my twin, my wife, my nieces, I've got all of them in there because I think they are the people that make me who I am. And then I have the things I just enjoy doing. My mouth is a rugby ball with the word rugby in it because I love talking about it. It's one of my best hobbies. Um, I also have my two main rugby clubs at the top. Um, this is a Haywards Heath shirt, which is a team that I coach at now, but I also played for when I was seven all the way through. And this is a team called Chichester, which is a team I played for for about eight years and I did some coaching there. I've got down the bottom here some of my favourite things. I've got basketball and cricket equipment, my favourite sports. I have my cat, Troy. Um, I have a weight, an exercise weight here. I'm in a rugby field and I've also got steak and chips for dinner. Lastly, I didn't want to forget something that's really important to me, which is my whistle. Um, I don't tend to use it much other than in matches, but I think it shows off that I'm a teacher and how important sport is in my life and being around you lot and being in a school like Abadawa. So, that is my express yourself portrait. I want you to have a really good go this afternoon at planning and producing a really creative piece of work. Whatever happens at the end of the day, try and have something to show your form tutor or talk about what you're planning to do. If you don't quite finish it, don't panic. Don't panic. What we want you to do over the next couple of days and the weekend is try to finish it off, send it to me, send it to your form tutor so we have a record of it. And remember, if you send it to me, it's then going to be posted on a YouTube video for your year group where you can see everyone from your year and how they have expressed themselves. Guys, have a great afternoon. Think clearly. Think smartly, enjoy yourself and give it your best go. I'm so excited to see what you've got to offer. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Bye bye.